I'm back, and when I was a teenager, I had a very strong right arm. N no, no, not because of that, no. Let's all turn on the tube. This is hot dog soup. You may have heard of joystick waggling. It's sort of button smashing, but then with directional left and right. Ever since the Nintendo Wii came out, it became the subject of discussion, because it's not real gaming. But Nintendo Wii and game controllers? No, 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 no. I'm talking about real joysticks here. You know, those retro ones. Eight directions and one fire button, nine pin connector. In this video, I'll explain what joystick waggling is, how you do it, and I'm going to show you the games that destroyed all those joysticks in the 80s. Yes, you heard it right, they were being destroyed, because most joysticks couldn't handle the enormous pressures of ferocious waggling. So what is joystick waggling? I'm not talking about motion control, such as on the Nintendo Wii and other consoles, or indeed on mobile devices. I'm talking about actual waggling of the joystick. Repeatedly hitting left and right and left and right, without missing a beat. As fast as you could, as hard as you could. Some of the most famous games in the 80s used this as the main way to control the game or the player. For instance, in a sporting game to run faster or to jump higher. And sometimes you use the fire button to jump or to shoot, but mostly it was just non-stop waggling left and right, left and right, left and right. So it was mostly sports games, but there were also other games that featured this type of control. This type of joystick control was really straining on muscles and on the joysticks themselves. And of course, this destroyed a lot of joysticks that couldn't handle the pressure. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of games that had joystick waggling as main control. And I'm also going to show you a couple of techniques of joystick waggling. Yes, yes, there were different techniques. If you look online, there's a forum post here and there about joystick waggling and how it went in the 80s. And sometimes you see somebody mentioning that they destroyed a joystick by doing so. The only other thing I could find was this clip from a TV show. I don't know who this is or what show it was. Maybe you know, please comment. And I found a reference from this fictitious game by Homestar Runner, which isn't a real game, but at least it mentions joystick waggling. There's also this t-shirt that I found, Daily Thompson's Joystick Damage Simulator. This is a reference to Daily Thompson's sports games, all of which featured joystick waggle control. Most famously, Daily Thompson's Decathlon, which was basically the sports game that ruined the most joysticks. There's a video here by Nostalgia Nerd in which he's playing it and you actually see him joystick waggling. But apart from sports games, there were a lot of other games that also had joystick waggling as the main way to control them. Some games only featured joystick waggling in mini-games or sub-levels, just like the Mario Party type games we have nowadays. Even when joystick waggling games were responsible for the destruction of actual hardware, they were very popular. I don't think it's because of the joystick waggling, because these games were mostly endorsed by popular sports people like Daily Thompson. But they were really fun to play and on some platforms actually got good reviews. And in mailing lists and magazines there was actually discussion about how you could play the best or how you could beat those games or how you could waggle your stick the fastest. I even found this hardware hack where somebody made a joystick interface that had auto waggle. Many of these games involved a lot of emotion. You had to do it as fast as possible and then exactly at the right moment push the fire button. And when you missed it, you were actually getting angry because you had to do it again and your arm was hurting. And the more you played, the more your arm would hurt. Joystick waggling, even if you did it gracefully, was done with a lot of force. And this would, of course, destroy joysticks. Many cheap joysticks could not withstand the forces involved with joystick waggling. Most cheap joysticks would just contain pieces of metal that made contact when you moved. The quality of these joysticks was simply terrible. <laughs> Atari 2600. <laughs> the bad plastic and the simple contacts would simply disintegrate if you waggled too rigorously. But thank God there were also better joysticks, the more expensive ones. These featured micro switches that had better response, less bounce and they were basically just more sturdy. These joysticks could handle waggling way better. The most popular strong and sturdy joysticks were the Arcade and the Competition Pro, both of which were made by a Rotterdam company called Suzo. 
Yes, great Dutch products. When I was a teenager, I actually destroyed a couple of joysticks myself, including a Competition Pro. <laughs> yes, yes, I was a very, very rigorous joystick waggler in those days. It was really hard work playing a joystick waggle game in the 80s. And in a couple of minutes, I'll show you my techniques. It all started, of course, with Daley Thompson's Decathlon game, but that wasn't the worst. When Combat School came out, that was the killer for me. That was the game that I played for weeks and weeks and weeks, waggling my stick until it broke, and then going to the shop and buying a new stick with my hard-earned pocket money that I got from my parents. So now it's time to have a look at different waggling techniques. Technique number one, the flat hand. The flat hand involves putting your hand on top of it and then doing this. Oh, it really hurts. Oh, fuck. I'm doing it for five seconds. It's, it, it hurts already. Oh, ow, fucking shit balls. And of course, this will cause blisters uh, in this position on the hand. Some joysticks used to have uh, a fire button on top of it and you couldn't use the flat hand technique there. Technique number two, the fingering. Okay, so when fingering, you put the joystick between two fingers like this or like this. And then you can really quickly move them back and forth. So it could be your thumb and your index finger. Or it could be two fingers like this. And then you could really, if you concentrate it, you could really do it quickly. And that is the fingering technique. My arm already hurts. Technique, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> technique number three, the wank. This is of course using the entire fist. Is this visible like this? I'm doing it with my left hand now. Using the entire fist to move, uh, to hold the stick and then doing this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's even worse with my left hand. Well, you get the point. This is the wank. The technique he used was, of course, depending on the type of hands you had or the type of arms you had, but also the type of joystick. Some joysticks were longer, so they had a bigger sway, so to speak, and some of them were like more sturdy or more loose. For instance, this arcade one is much looser than the uh, Competition Pro that I have, so you could easily do this with the two-finger technique. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? And no matter what technique was being used, joysticks were actually destroyed. So in my search for joystick waggling information, I compiled a list of games that featured joystick waggling as a way of control. Uh, there's not a lot of them. I thought it was much more, but maybe I'm missing something. So if you have additions to this list, please comment and I'll add them to my website. So here are some games that feature joystick waggling. So there you go, that is joystick waggling. Those were the days when games could actually cause hardware destruction. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I'm actually preserving a little part of retro gaming history here. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, or uncomment, or dislike, whatever you want. And I'll see you next time.